God's desire is that he answers your prayer more than you. But there is a way to do it that you get answers from God. So there is a way that God answers prayer. And there is prayers that God rejects. He will not respond to it. Mm. Not because he doesn't love you. (laughs) Not because he doesn't care for you. Mm -hmm. Not because he's not seeing your pain. But because you have not done what you need to do in order for him to respond. Mm. I want to teach you how to make your prayer go in the presence of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I receive it. When you want to present any kind of document or you want to write a letter, if the letter has no address, it has no direction, the post office will try to return it from where it came from. Mm -hmm. It won't respond to it. Or it can even get lost in the source. Right. So a lot of people direct prayer without an address. So there are things that God responds to and there are things that God doesn't respond to. God already knows what you're going through. Mm -hmm. But just because he knows you won't respond to it, there is a way that he has to come to him. Mm -hmm. Because remember, God does not change the way he operates. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Mm -hmm. Meaning the same way he dealt with Moses is the same way he's going to deal with you, is the same way he's going to deal with me. Mm -hmm. He's not going to change it. How can we get our prayers answered quickly? Mm -hmm. Because you look at people like Samuel. They prayed and an answer came. Yeah, quickly. Moses will pray, answer will come. I will pray, God will answer me. Mm -hmm. Why aren't answers coming quickly for so many people? Some people think that God answers you because you are faithful. No, no human being is faithful to God's standard. Mm -hmm. You are faithful according to your season. But God already knows you in and out. There's nothing you can do to impress him for him to answer your prayer. Mm -hmm. This is something that people need to understand. Let me frame it like this. You are dealing with a being Mm -hmm. that is uncreated, is eternal. He orchestrated everything. How can I do anything that will make him react? Nothing. Mm -hmm. He knows me in and out. He knows my past, my present, my future. He knows my heart. He knows everything. He knew me before he even put me together. And everything I'm doing, he already knows exactly what I'm going to do. He knows every choice that I'm going to make. Everything is naked before him. Right. I can't impress that kind of person. How can you impress him? Hmm. So there's nothing I can do to impress God. But there's a protocol that is required for him to receive what you have. Mm-hmm. What I'm teaching you is information from the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. Matthew 21, 22. Amen. Mm -hmm. In all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. Say it again. In all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. So... When you are about to pray, you need to believe before you pray that you have received what you want. So by the time you pray, the prayer is answered. Mm. So, so many people pray, and, and after they pray, they say, Oh, I felt the anointing. Oh, I felt like this. That means my prayer is answered. Mm-hmm. But as far as God is concerned, before you even pray, mm-hmm. you must already believe, and then you receive. Mm. Yeah. So prayer is simply protocol, but prayer is not what answers your prayer. Mm. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh, I don't know if somebody caught that. It's a form, what is it called? Uh, 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 what? Formality. formality. Mm-hmm. It's a formality. Mm-hmm. Because God answers you before you pray. Mm-hmm. And he hears you before you open your mouth. Mm-hmm. So when you go and say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, you are just following a formality. Mm. That is why the Lord Jesus said this. He said, Father, I thank you that you hear me, that you always hear me. Mm-hmm. He was, and he said, I am not praying for my own sake, but for their sake that they may know that you sent me. So he was simply praying because it was a formality. He could have easily said, Lazarus, wake up. Mm-hmm. But he said, Father, I thank and he's praying amongst people. Mm-hmm. Father, I thank you that you hear me and you always hear me. I am not praying this for my sake, but for their sake that you, they know that you sent me. Mm-hmm. So his prayer was an insult, Mm -hmm. saying, Father, I'm simply doing this because if I don't do this, they will not believe you sent me. 
So sometimes you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for healing. Because if I say that, you will believe that God sent me. Mm -hmm. But if I come and say, it's done, you're healed. But he didn't even mention Jesus. Right. They won't believe. Right. <laughs> but before you even touched him, you was already believing. No, I already knew that you the prayer is answered. Yeah. That is why I love you, son, because you did something one day that shocked me. You came with a prayer request, you and your wife, and you came with a seed in your hand. Mm -hmm. And you say, Papa, don't pray, just say it's done. Mm. And I sat down and I said, Aha! Bishop Will is extreme with everything. Even this revelation is super extreme with it. It shocked me. It really shocked me. Until today, one of the things that I always remember with you mm -hmm. and your wife is that when you believe God, you believe God with everything. Mm -hmm. Amen. And because of that, God has continually lifted you up. Mm -hmm. So God doesn't answer you because in the name of Jesus, it is done. Jesus. We do that because it's protocol so that people know that we are praying to him. Mm. Did, <laughs> okay, let me provoke it and push it even deeper. Did Elijah, Elijah ever say in the name of Jesus? No. Did Moses ever say, Father, in the name of Jesus? Mm -mm. Samuel? <laughs> But they were talking to God, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Lord Jesus said something. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So Jesus is the way to speak to God. So when we say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we are just saying, we are coming to you, O God, through this way, the truth that you provided and life you provided for us to get to you. Mm. That is why in the name of Jesus is anoma. Anoma means in the character, in the way Jesus would do it. Mm. Amen. So in reality, when you pray, you don't need to say in Jesus' name. Right. You are in Jesus' name is the reason why you're praying. Mm. Ah. <laughs> it is because of Jesus you can pray. Mm -hmm. So you already said in Jesus' name before you started praying. Mm. Because without Jesus' name, you're not approaching God. Yes. So God doesn't listen to you because you say Jesus' name. Because God hears you before you pray. He answers the intention of prayer. While you're still speaking, he already heard you. Mm -hmm. That's why the Lord Jesus said, don't ask. He said, don't ask and don't worry about what you want. God already knows you need these things, but why do we still pray? Form yeah, formality. Yeah, it's, it's, a protocol. it's a protocol. Mm -hmm. Especially when we're amongst people. Mm -hmm. That is why some people think if you, say, if you don't say in Jesus' name, you are a devil worshiper. He doesn't even say in Jesus' name. <laughs> the Bible says, and Peter brought crazy miracles by his hands. Doesn't say, and Peter brought great miracles because he said Jesus, and Jesus used his hands. <laughs> So God is saying, you don't need to pray. I already know what you want. Mm -hmm. You are worried because you think I don't know. I know. Remember what we read in Exodus. Mm -hmm. What did he say? I know their sorrow. I know their pain. I know this and this about them. God already knows your situation before you came to him. Mm -hmm. But there is a formality. Mm -hmm. So anybody that is saying, Father, because your word says it and we believe it, huh, so it is done. God may be rolling his eyes in heaven. You should have been praying because you believe the word. Mm -hmm. That should be the force that drives you to pray. Not because you mentioned his name. Mm -hmm. But because of his name, you know his word is true. And because his word is true, that's why you're praying. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Hebrews 11.6. Hebrews 11.6. Amen. Mm -hmm. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Read it again. But without faith it is impossible to please him. So you can't pray. So saying in the name of Jesus does not give you faith. Mm. Believing and knowing what he has said is what his faith is. Faith should be what makes you pray. Amen. 
So he's saying it is impossible to please, please God without faith. And he that comes to him must know that he is mm -hmm. a reward of those who diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. So when you pray and you don't have faith, God will not even respond to you. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know that he's a reward of those who seek him. Mm -hmm. So faith makes you to pray because you know there is a reward. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Read it one more time. Maybe it will make somebody now really see it. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Meaning that if I come because I believe God is not pleased. Mm. Because believing is not faith. But believing leads you into faith. Mm. So if I'm going to pray that God give me a house. Mm -hmm. God heal me. Whatever it may be. I must already know that God has already done it. That is why I am praying. Because this is protocol. Mm. When you're making an application... You don't hope that your application will be received or rejected. If you are doing everything that it should be, you know your application, you are just waiting for the result. Exactly. Amen. 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 And I'm using the example of a loan. I'm using the example of a loan. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to ask for a loan, I have all my papers together. Mm -hmm. I can't be denied. Amen. Why? Right. I have everything together. Mm -hmm. So my confidence in going to the bank... Is because I have everything together. And I know that these guys, if they don't give me the loan, everybody else will be begging me for my business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is why God says my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. If you know, you present it a certain way, there's no way you can be rejected. The Lord Jesus said this to his disciples. His disciples asked him, Lord, why do you teach in parables? He said, so that... Hearing they may hear, so that hearing they may not understand, and seeing they may not see. Least they see and believe that I will be forced to heal them and to save them. Mm -hmm. So Jesus taught in parables to confuse people, not so that people can understand him. Mm -hmm. He did not want the Pharisees to get saved, because they had to kill him. If they got born again, they would not kill him. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So if they knew him to be the Messiah, there's no way they were going to kill him. So when you know the truth, you, God has no choice but to give you what Amen. you want. Amen. Adam knew the way to the tree of life. God had to kick him out of the garden and put angels to guard the way to the tree of life. Because if Adam had the way to the tree of life and he ate it, he would have lived forever. Mm -hmm. In sin. So God said, nah, I'm not going to let him do that. Mm -hmm. So that sin really killed. That's a whole other topic. You didn't get what I just said. You didn't understand what I just said. I didn't say sin is good. Right. <laughs> but God blocked the way because he did not want Adam to go in there and be eternal in sin. Mm -hmm. Satan is living forever. Mm -hmm. Until, remember, forever is a timeline. Yeah. Those who haven't watched, go watch Spiritual Time. I explain this. Yeah. Forever is a timeline. Mm -hmm. Everlasting and forever and eternal, they're all measures of time. Mm -hmm. Hell is forever, but forever has an ending. Mm -hmm. Because hell, death, and the grave will be thrown in the lake of fire, meaning they will cease to exist. Mm -hmm. Meaning it's a timeline. Mm -hmm. So the devil lives, is alive now, mm -hmm. since the day he was created. Is billions of years old mm -hmm. but it still looks the same no white hair nothing right. but he's living in sin but he has no way to the tree of life so he cannot receive redemption mm -hmm. because God's goal was to change us to be like he is not to remain the way we are mm -hmm. so God blocked the way to the tree so that Adam will not live forever mm -hmm. in sin mm -hmm. so God closed that door so that nobody will be eternal in sin <laughs> mm -hmm. this is why as a child of God you need to meditate before you pray Amen. you need to think of what you're trying to achieve when you go before God mm. I don't go to the to the bank for the sake of going to the bank. Right. I don't go to the police station just for the sake of hanging out. 
everywhere you go, there is an agenda, there is a reason, there is a purpose. Mm -hmm. If I don't understand the reason, I don't understand the purpose. My journey is in vain. Mm -hmm. My journey is in vain. Is that not so? Everything has to have an agenda. The, the Lord Jesus knew why he was praying. Moses knew why he went into prayer. Sometimes you go before prayer because you just want to love God. Sometimes you go before God because you want some, to tell God something. Sometimes it's because you want God to answer something. There is always an agenda why you go before God. You don't just go before God for the sake of going before God. There is a reason. There is a purpose. Don't just go to the White House. Oh, yeah, I just came to hang out. All right. well, what you doing here? What you doing here? We'll arrest you. Yeah, we'll lock you up. <laughs> it's suspicious. Right. So the answer to prayer begins with your attitude before you open your mouth. Mm -hmm. So you know in you that God is answering me. I'm just following protocol. Mm -hmm. God told this to Cain. When Cain was offering offerings with his brother, the Lord said this to Cain. When he rejected his offering, he said, Cain, why are you upset? If you do the right thing, will you not be accepted? Meaning God has the right way of accepting offerings and there's ways that God will not accept you. Mm -hmm. Meaning there is a standard that Cain and Abel knew. But Cain chose not to follow. I don't know if somebody is catching what I'm saying. Let's move on because of time. Let me try and knock this thing out. Thank you, Lord. John 16. No. 1 John 5, 14. Let's start with that one. 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. Amen. Mm -hmm. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he will hear us. Read it again. And this is the confidence that we have in him. Notice it is confidence that makes you to pray. Mm -hmm. Confidence is faith. Amen. Uh-huh. Keep going. That if we ask anything according to his will. If we ask anything according to his will, what will happen? He heareth us. He hears us. So what is God's will? If you don't know the will of God, because God, remember this, God does not respond to what you want. God responds to his will. Mm -hmm. His will must come out of you. And then he responds to it. Mm. That is why the Lord Jesus said, Hearing they may, they may hear and not understand, and seeing they may not see. For if they hear and see, I will be forced to heal them. Mm -hmm. If you project what God has said to you to back to him, he has no choice but to answer you. Mm -hmm. That is why when the prodigal son said, Give me half of my inheritance, his father had to give him because the boy knew that the inheritance was his. Mm -hmm. His brother didn't know. He was thinking that his father would just give it to him. But the prodigal son knew that this is his. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Even though he was in the wrong, his intentions were wrong. But his right was his right and his father gave him his right. Mm -hmm. That's why somebody in the world can succeed and a Christian doesn't. Mm -hmm. Because the person in the world knows that success is theirs. They are determined to get what they were born to get. Right. But a Christian doesn't know that. They will fail. This is what fuels your meditation before you pray. I want to have a house. Luke chapter 4 is the same verse that Isaiah prophesied about Jesus. It says, They shall rebuild desolate places. They shall have foreigners as their workers. Mm -hmm. They shall have homes. So if I'm simply praying for a house... I am undermining myself because God promised that I will have homes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So if God has the ability to give me homes, mm -hmm. then a house is nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. So I have to know that I am in my right to get a house. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is a house somewhere, maybe in Malibu, it may be in Calabasas, mm -hmm. maybe in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. It may be in Hidden Hills, maybe in Woodland Hills, but there is a house for me. Mm -hmm. And there are many others. That is why when we were discussing what we were discussing, remember what I told you? Mm -hmm. This is just the first one. Yeah. Amen. 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 Don't make it like it's the last one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. 
So by the time you have this knowledge mm -hmm. that has turned into belief and the believing has turned into faith is become something that is just obvious. Mm -hmm. Now you are in his will. Mm -hmm. Because two cannot walk together unless they agree. Mm -hmm. Find scriptures that remove any doubt and inject confidence in you when you pray. Mm -hmm. And you have whatsoever you ask. Mm -hmm. Because if he's saying whatsoever you shall ask, it means that whatsoever is anything. Mm -hmm. Meaning for anything that you want, his will already covered it. Mm. Wow, wow. Because he's not telling you what to ask for. Mm -hmm. But he's telling you that you can ask anything according to his will. Mm -hmm. Meaning anything you want, there is a way you acquire it because his will has a clause that includes it. Right. That's good stuff. Uh, somebody didn't catch what I just said. So when people say, I don't know if it's God's will for me to do this business. It's, I don't know if it's God's will for me to have this. I don't know if it's God's will for me to have this. They don't understand that he said anything. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> but what puts me in the anything? Ah, somebody is not catching the depth of what God just said. He's saying, ask anything. In my name and I will do it to you. The Lord says this in John. You can ask anything in my name and I will do it for you. Mm -hmm. So if it is anything. Mm -hmm. It means anything that I want that I even feel far fetched. Even the ones that I'm not sure of. Mm -hmm. it's, in it's in his will. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. Mm -hmm. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. Mm -hmm. That is why the prodigal son could get his inheritance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because he knew anything <laughs> included his, in, in his inheritance. He knew my father has property and I've seen in his will that half of it belongs to me. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I need my part of my thing so I can go do my thing. Right. He was not interested in being in his father's house. Mm -hmm. And his father did not say, because you are not in my house, I will not give it to you. No, his father already arranged that it will be his. His father never argued with him. His father just divided the property and gave it to him. Anything. That is why you wonder, why is it that people in the world can be millionaires? You, you pray every day, but you're not a millionaire because you don't believe in everything is yours. Mm. That is why the Bible goes as far as to tell you this. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. So there is a wicked man that is eating your money, mm -hmm. living in your house. <laughs> <laughs> driving your Lamborghini, driving your Rolls Royce. <laughs> mm. wow. I don't think people are spiritual enough to mm. get what I'm trying to say. Mm. Everything. The Bible says all things are yours so that nobody should boast of it. All things. Mm -hmm. All things. Mm. Remember, what you want will not stay void. Somebody is using it right now. Right. That's why God told the children of Israel, I'm sending you to a land flowing with milk and honey. The land of, it, of the Hittites, Canaanites. What? Mm -hmm. How can it be my land if there is Canaanites and Hittites and Jebusites that live in it? Mm -hmm. Because they're enjoying it because you never went for it. Wow. <laughs> The wealth of the righteous is, to, is stored up for the, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. Wow. That's the perfect evidence. Wow. It is a land that is for them. But somebody else, the, the Canaanites were eating their honey, mm. enjoying the milk, chilling. And they didn't give it up without a fight. Right. Wow. Last one. John sixteen twenty four. Amen. Let me, let, me say, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you why claiming is different from taking. Why you should be somebody that doesn't own, claim but takes what is yours. Mm. Have you ever been in a line where you're saying, I am next, but somebody already just stepped in and is like, man, too bad, I'm already here. Yeah. Yeah, Unless you physically push them out and say, no, man, it's my turn and get in that line, that guy will go before you. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter that you claim it. It's whoever is going to take their place. Wow. Don't claim a miracle. Take your miracle. Mm -hmm. mm. That's deep. That's deep. 
Popeye had a buddy that was an actor. Uh -huh. He still is an actor. Uh -huh. What he would do is mm -hmm. he would show up at the audition. He said, hey, man, I got another one to get to. You mind? He didn't have anything else to get to. Yeah. He wanted to go in the room first yes. to claim what was yours before you got in. Yes. To set the bar. Uh -huh. So if he set the bar high enough, they would look at him and not you. Although yes. so you gave up your place. Yes. <laughs> Wisdom. <laughs> wow. Yeah, deep. I'll make a teaching on that. That's why the Bible says the violent take it by force. He did not say the violent claim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While you're still claiming, somebody is taking. <laughs> While you're still claiming, somebody is taking. Mm -hmm. Somebody didn't hear what I said. Look at this. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. John 16, 24. John 16, 24. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. Read it one more time. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Jesus is telling his disciples, this whole time I've been with you, you have not asked anything in my name. So Jesus can be in you, but you're not asking God anything. Wow. Read on. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. So God answers, wants to answer your prayer, so that your joy may be full. Mm. Because if your joy is not full, you will not be okay. So God's desire is, desire is to make your joy full. Amen. Amen. So he wants your an prayer answered more than you. Wow. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. That your joy may be full. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to somebody that is watching right now. The Lord Jesus wants your joy to be full. You believing it or not doesn't change that fact, mm -hmm. that he wants your joy to be full. Mm -hmm. If you believe him and do things in the way that he has ordained, you walk and live in the blessing. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do that, you will not walk in the blessing mm -hmm. because it's a protocol, formality. Mm -hmm. Let's pray for people. Mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everybody. I pray that, Lord, today they have known that you want to answer their prayer more than them. I pray now, O oh Father, let it be so for each and every one of them. Let them receive a supernatural blessing. Let them come to a place of knowing more than they do. Let them receive every prayer according to your word. You say that whatsoever we shall ask in your name, we shall receive. May they receive their miracle, their healing, their marriage, open doors, their careers, whatever they are believing you for. Let it be done unto them. Father, I thank you that this is accomplished in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. I thank you for their life and what you're doing in them in Jesus' name. Other than that, I love you. The Lord Jesus loves you more. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Whispers in the dark, God lost on the way, 
Wander through the park, another empty day. Voices in my head, echoes of the past, memories we've shed. Thought they'd always last, chasing shadows in the night. Running fast but out of sight. In a world that's black and white. Find the colors, hold them tight. Pictures on the wall, frames of who we were Hear the city call, in a distant blur Time has slipped away, leaves have turned to gold In this endless play, grow both young and old Chasing shadows in the night